Hello and welcome back to Meat City Gaming. JD here with another episode of Battle Bites here in World of Tanks. And today, just a short video where I'm going to discuss the upcoming Road to the CDC event. Uh, Wargaming kind of surprised us all so soon after the completion of the Road to the Motherland event where you could earn a Tier 8 Russian premium tank for free. We now have been told that in just a week's time, we'll be able to start an event to earn the CDC, the French Tier 8 medium premium tank as well. Uh, and we can earn that for free. This is a big surprise to people. We did not think such an event would be coming so soon after the first one. And I wanted to give a little bit of info on the time that it will take to earn this tank. There's a lot of people that have broken down the numbers in terms of the XP requirements per day and all that. But I wanted to try and fix an actual amount of time, number of hours that it will take to complete these operations. And I'm going to be basing this on my experience in the Road to the Motherland missions which I kind of tracked on my data for uh, and I will give you my assumptions that I'm using throughout the the process here and then you can you know make your own adjustments to my estimate based on how you play compared to how I play so the first thing to, to realize is that the road to the CDC it's set up a little bit differently than the motherland missions in that there's only three parts to the to the mission three separate ops and the first one is a throwaway it's it's a low amount of XP in a high amount of time I'm assuming everyone can complete that, and if you can't, then you know, you're not really serious about this op. It's not something you should worry about. So we're going to throw that out. What really matters is the last two stages of the operation. You need to acquire 215,000 XP in about a week and a half. And so in order to do that, the result that I came up with, if you run a non-premium account, then you need that full 215,000 XP to earn. I came out to about 200 games to get that and that's about 26 hours of play. So if you run a non-premium and you're an a, you know, average of slightly above average player, uh, I said 200 games based on my calculations and 26 hours over that week and a half period for the, the second and third operations when they're unlocked. If you're running a premium account, the news is a little better. Um, you'll need about 130, maybe 132 games based on my numbers, and that's about 17 hours of play. So a little bit more manageable. Uh, that's just over an hour, maybe an hour and a half a day, as opposed to uh, much more than that. You're talking two, two plus hours a day if you have the non-premium account. And so how I got to those numbers? Well, if you see my Road to the Motherland conclusion video, I kind of posted all my numbers, and what I did was uh, I found that the average XP that I earned in a doubled game, so it was a win, and it was my first win in the tank for the day, I took home about 1,500 XP for that battle. And what the, the one advantage to the, the Road to the CDC is that you don't need to complete these in your French tanks. You can do them in any tank. And so one of the big problems for me was that my Russian tanks were not very good. They're not great tanks, and I'm not very good in them. Um, so I think that was hampering me a little bit. So I, again, I came out to 1,500 for my average double. Now, you're going to be able to do more daily doubles for the Road to the CDC because you can use any tank, right? In, in the Road to the Motherland, you were limited to your Russian tanks. So if you had five Russian tanks, you could only get five doubles a day. Now that you have your complete arsenal available, you should be able to get a double in every single tank you own, and that should take you through the day, right? You should have 10, 20 tanks. You'll get your 10, 20 doubles for the day. But you're not going to win every game. So I assumed uh, a 50% win rate. So half my games I took uh, at 1,500 XP per game. The other half for my non-doubles during the Road to the Motherland event, I took home 450 XP per game. And then I gave myself a 10% boost because now we're not playing Russian uh, tanks, we're not playing French tanks, you can play any tank. And if I can play any tank I want, I'm going to say my performance will be a little bit better. So I gave myself a 10% boost. And I said for an average game that gets doubled, I'll earn 1,650 XP. For an average game that does not get doubled, I'll earn 500 XP. And with those two numbers, then I gave myself a 50% win rate. So I said 50% of the games I'm going to win at 1,650 XP, 50% of the games I'm going to lose at 500 XP, and in order to get to 215,000 XP with those numbers, it comes out to about 200 games, which was the 26 hours of play. With those same numbers to get to 143,000 XP, which is what you'll need to get if you have a premium account, if you earn 143, you'll get the 1.5 bonus, and that'll get you up to the 215,000. 
then you need 132 games at about 17 hours of play. So if you know your win percentage is better than 50%, you can give yourself a little bump and you can cut down the time that you'll require. If you know that you're earning way more XP in your doubled games or your non-doubled games, again, you can give yourself a little bit of a bump as well. But those are based on my numbers, some rough estimates, just to give you guys kind of an estimate and, and take a look at those time savings. I mean, you're talking about a nine hour difference in playtime over the course of 11 days or 12 days. So if there's ever a time to get yourself some premium time, this might be the time to do it. Uh, I know I am definitely gonna go for this tank. It is probably the premium tank that I'm most excited about. It is extremely fast with a good gun, and, and that's what I look for, mobility and, uh, and, a, and a nice gun that can do some damage and, and you can get around the battlefield and really clean up uh, at the end of a game, which is something that some of the other tanks struggle to do. The Type 59, the, the Motherland, they're a little bit sluggish if, uh, if your team's rolling and you're not in the right position, it's going to be tough for you to get into position to clean up. Again, you're not slow, but you're not super fast. And if you're in the uh, CDC, you'll be the first one to get anywhere. And you'll be able to clean up those kills when you're crushing. Or if you're getting defeated and you're getting swept, well, maybe you'll be able to break through the enemy lines and at least torture the enemy artillery. So I, for one, am going for this tank. I encourage you guys to do the same. But hopefully this video will give you a little bit of knowledge about what it will take in order to accomplish that. So... Hopefully that helps. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. And as always, you can subscribe for future content. Thank you for joining me. Good luck with the road to the CDC, and I'll see you on the battlefield.